am your host Lokendar Kumar and today we are uh, back on the PyMol session and uh, we're going to do scene tutorial. In PyMol you can work with various scenes. Why scenes are important? Because PyMol is uh, not good in uh, redoing things. That means if you make any changes in PyMol and if you don't like the changes, the redo option is uh, not that friendly. So it is really important that you work with scenes. Uh, you should know how to work with scenes and you should know how to store scenes. Start by importing the protein structure. So to import the protein structure, we already know uh, that uh, we can use fetch command and uh, with the four letter code we can fetch the particular protein directly into the pymol window so what we're going to do is we're going to write f e t c h space four letter code of the protein which is 2 u v 0 in my case i'm going to press enter and now you can see that on the computer screen there is the structure of the pseudomonas aeruginosa loss R ligand binding domain bound to its autoinducer. And it's in tetrameric form, so you can see four domains of the protein structure. Now, uh, this is the default view. If I want to save this default view as a scene one, and after that I can keep making changes and I keep uh, saving the changes in different scenes. So to save the particular scene, what you need to do is you need to write a specific command, which is scene space 001 comma space store. So that's the command to store your particular scene. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type this particular command SCE N E space zero zero one comma store and enter. Now you can see uh, there is a small tab which appeared on this particular area on the left corner, bottom corner of your computer screen, uh, which shows you zero zero one. So that means you have a particular working scene in your primal session. Now let's do some changes. I'm going to change uh, this complete protein structure into a different form. So what I'm going to do is like first I'm going to change, uh, I'm going to remove the uh, water molecules. Now you can see those red dots disappeared. Then I'm going to change uh, the protein visualization and I'm going to change it to uh, Preset publication. So now everything is publication quality. I'm also going to do some changes uh, in uh, uh, while going into the display to change the uh, color space to CMYK. It's a little dull and it uh, makes some additional changes and I'm going to increase uh, the quality by pressing on this particular tab that is maximum quality so i want to store these changes in the form of scene 002 so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to type s c e n e space 002 comma space store and then enter now there is a scene 2 that you can see uh, again on the same spot you have a new tab that is 002 okay so now let's change this particular structure and show this as a surface uh, model so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to s tab and i'm going to show it as a surface view uh, it might take some time to uh, uh, perform these changes after that it's going to show as a surface model. Now you can see the protein is in this surface model form. Right, so you can see four domains, they are interconnected. 
and I want to sh save this particular structure. So what I'm going to do, I'm, again, I'm going to follow the same command that is S-C-E-N-E -E space 003. Remember, you have to change the number so that you can save as many as scenes you want, comma, space, store, enter. Now when you press enter, you will see again a new tab that appeared on the left bottom, bottom corner of your computer screen. You can see 003 appeared. So, and let's make another change and show it as a sphere form. So when you press on S, you will get uh, the spheres and uh, the spheres are there, but if you are showing the surface, you are not going to see the sphere. So you need to hide. So uh, let's do hide H and then go to the surface. Now you can see it's changed from surface to spheres. You can also change colors of these uh, particular sphere molecules but let's do uh, let's save the particular scene now as 004 so what we're gonna do again we're gonna press S C E N E space 004 comma space store enter now you have four scenes right let me show you what are all those different different scenes that we have stored in the PyMol session? And uh, uh, let's go to scene 001. You will see there will be uh, significant changes in the protein structure when I'll go to scene 1. That's the scene 1, right? So that was the, uh, that was the default view that we imported. It was pink in color. Second, we have publication quality uh, color in the uh, protein structure, scene 3. We have the surface view. And when we click on scene 4, it's going to show us the sphere view. So you can visit every scene by just clicking on its tab, which is present on the left bottom corner of your computer screen. So you can keep on pressing on these and you will return to the particular scene. You can also save uh, these particular structure by just pressing on draw or ray icon, which is present on the right side of the computer screen. And you can press on ray slow. When you press on ray slow, it's going to render the image slowly, but the quality will be higher. It's going to take some time. After that, you can uh, store that particular image. As you can see, now you have some shadow effect, you have some shiny effect, and it looks good. So now, by pressing Save Image to the file, you can save this particular image. I don't want to save this one, but I just wanted to show you how you can save the image. So you have different, different scenes, and uh, you can keep making changes on this particular structure. You can keep doing uh, things like you can delete the object, you can highlight particular uh, specific part of the protein, and you can store that scene. Pymol is really uh, not good when it comes to undo things. So it is really important that you understand how to work with scenes. I'm going to repeat once again that how you can store the scene. There is a simple command that you can use, which is S-C-E-N-E -E space 001, which is the number. So you need to change the number every time. So S-C-E-N-E -E space 001 comma space S-T-O-R-E store. So this is the command you need to type right here and your scene will be saved. So this was a quick tutorial for you uh, to uh, show you how to work with scenes. Uh, I'm going to bring more tutorials that are going to help you while you're working with Pymo. So you can save this particular session by pressing file and go to save session. So uh, now if I want to save this session, I can save this particular session and I will have all those scenes stores stored in my particular PyMol session. So 
I hope uh, you like the video and uh, if you uh, like the video please press the like button and if you like the content of the channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Take care.